Hello! Let's let's begin another rack. Another rack. So I'm gonna rack the nine on the spot. You want to make it tough, not too tough. Where's the one ball? And my, my dogs are chewing on their own uh, bones right now. They're chewing, they have a chew bone. So uh, they will leave me in peace when they do that. That's a good recommendation of mine. If you're going to play serious pool, give the dogs a bone. They will leave you alone. I will make a cut break, one ball in the side. Let's see what we have here. I have here, yeah, combination. That's going to be a quite an easy combination because the six is so close. Uh, here, I think I'm going to hit the rail first with the two ball. Yeah, rail first. Like that, yeah, that's good. Now, I need to play position for the two to the three and then the four. And uh, let's look if the four will pass the nine. Nope, it can't pass the nine. Also, look if this eight will pass the nine. It, it will pass the nine. That is good. So we don't need to do anything with that eight ball. Now I just need to play position for the three ball. And I'm going to go. You can, go, you can either go straight up from the two. The problem is you might hit the four and you don't have a shot on the three and you might think you, you can make the three bang shot in the side but what if the four ball will stop here in the way then you can't do anything with the three ball so that is a very risky shot to go straight straight up uh, for the three so i rather go between the rail and the three okay i will take this path with the cue ball even if i hit the three i will be okay I can hit the red there, push the three out here. I can still make the three, no problem. And if I push the three uh, on the left side, I can still make the three in the corner. So many good things can happen if I go this path with the cue ball. But if I go, try to go straight up, I might hit the four and lose the game. So I don't want that. I will go between the rail and the three. So I use... Uh, Top spin, a little bit of left spin. Like that, that's perfect, yeah. And now, there are two ways you can play this shot. One way is to make the four in the side, other way is to make the four in the corner. It's, it is uh, here, it is very risky because if, I'm, if I have the wrong angle on the four, the cue ball is going to end up running into those balls. So you can't play good position play if you select uh, that that way to make the four in the side. So I rather want to make the four in the corner. Okay Yeah, that is good now I can just make a stop shot because I'm straight in on the four And let's look at the angle. I want to roll in the five and I want that an angle on the seven to come up for the eight. I don't want to be straight in on the seven. I want to have an angle here, a cut angle, because then you can just roll in the seven. So after making the five, you can very easily just, just be here in this location. No problem. So let's see if it's good enough. If I'm, if I'm here on the five, yeah, I can just roll it in and I will have a good shot on seven. So here on the four, I will make a stop shot. Just a simple stop shot here on the, on the four. You don't need to do, do much here. And now just roll it in. I'm going to be using top, top right spin here. Top right spin and roll it in. Soft. Even if, you see, even if I hit the, the rail first, it still went in because I shot it soft. If you shoot hard into the pocket, you can miss the pocket. It will just rattle like that and you will miss. But if you should start, you can hit the rail first. It will still go in. So shoot those shots near the rail soft. You can make them more easily. Now I'm on the seven. There are two ways you can play this shot. One way is to use outside spin, which is right spin on this shot. 
uh, come this way with the cue ball. The problem is, and the, the, the mistake many players do is, they use too little right spin, so they end up coming this way, right towards the eight ball, okay? So that is a mistake. So if you are not certain you can get out enough angle from the rail, you want to go this way with the cue ball and use inside spin. And come that way for the eight. But controlling inside spin is much tougher than outside spin. So you need to really look at what kind of angle you have and if outside spin is possible to do it, that you don't need to use too much of outside spin. So here I'm going to be using inside spin and what happens if I miss the shot? If I miss, miss the shot, I hit it too, too thick. Seven ball will hit the rail there, there come out here, but the cue ball will be over here. And it is tough for the opponent to get to the eight ball. Very tough. Because if this cue ball is here, seven ball there, he can't easily get to the eight. Because the angles uh, will go around the corner this way. So he won't have a good shot on the eight afterwards. So I'm going to select that choice. I'm using top left spin. I want to hit this, uh, this rail here. Okay, even if I'm frozen against this rail, very easy to make the A. So I don't need to let the cube come out from the rail again. That's a mistake many players do. They try to get out from the rail, get a perfect shot on eight, but you don't need to do so. Much, you much rather want to be very close to the rail. And if you miss the shot, opponent will get a really tough shot if, it's, if the cube is frozen to the rail. Okay, so I will do that. I use the uh, top, I use top uh, left spin. I hit that way too thin there, so the cube had too much speed on it. Okay, but I still have a great shot on the eight. Okay, uh, the, the full pocket is not really available. Nine is plugging just, uh, just a hair, but that is okay. I can hit, the, even if I hit the rail first, it will go in if, because I, I'm going to shoot soft, okay? Here, if I miss the shot and the eight ball will stop in front of the pocket, cue ball is going to end up behind the nine, okay? That is if I shoot too, too thick. Let's see if I can make the eight. Yeah, you see, snookered. Opponent is snookered. He can't do anything because nine is blocking the eight. Okay, so I will make this shot again, and this time I'm going to intentionally hit too thin on the 8. And that way the 9 will be pushed out. And the 8 will be open to be made in the corner. So you don't want to hit this too thin, because this will, this will happen. 8 ball will be easy to make in the corner. You want, in this situation, you want to hit it too thick. Because then the nine is blocking the cue ball and the eight will stop somewhere there. So let's do it again. Hit this shot a little bit too thick. A little bit too thick. Like that. You see, even if I had missed, if the eight ball would not have gone in, would have stopped here, opponent can't do anything because the nine is blocking the, the cue ball. Okay, so what will the opponent do from here? If you leave him like this, what will he do? Uh, the obvious way is to just make a kick shot here, but it, it can be quite risky because you, if you hit the eight wrong, you will scratch with the cue ball in the corner. So it is quite, quite a risky shot. And I'm going to demonstrate to you what can happen if you, if you make this kick shot. Yeah, now I hit the nine. So it is not that easy to make this kick shot. I'm going to do it again. If, especially when you need to elevate the cue. It's really tough to, to make the kick shot. Now, you see here, almost scratch. So those kick shots are really, really dangerous. If the eight ball is so close to the pocket, you might uh, scratch very easily in the corner. Okay. So this is the end of the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool, play, 
Pay Pool. Pay Pool.